Now let's look at a typical aero part. We have the basic reference elements here for designing this bulkhead part in context. We'll set up the part properties to define the correct material for the job. In this case, we are using constant values for the bend radius and neutral factor. First, we'll create the main body of the part using region boundary curve selection intent. Now, we'll create an advanced flange to the fuselage. Using the two reference option, we can not only pick up on the surface, but also infer the length for an exact profile match. Next, we'll create a by value flange on the inside to complete the profile. We need to create a joggle now to step around the frame component. Using the joggle command, we define the location limit by offsetting a plane and then adjusting the depth. As the part is driven from the material table, we can use predefined settings to drive the runout and radius values for the feature. In this case, we see the runout for a 3mm depth joggle is 30. Let's repeat for the central support part and define this as a twin joggle. Again, the transition parameters are driven from the material table and we can see the values update as the depth is adjusted. In this case, we'll apply a clearance value. Next, we'll add some lightning cutouts for weight reduction and access points. Predefined properties are read from the material table, the map to the standard tooling sizes, enabling the appropriate size to be selected. Should the feature be too close to surrounding geometry, the clearance check guides the designer accordingly. Now to add some more cutouts with a simple pattern. Finally, we'll create the flat pattern. In this case, we have displayed the inner and outer mold lines, or heel lines, typical for this type of part, rather than the usual bend center and tangent lines. For this demonstration, I have made the flat solid external so we can easily see that compensation has been applied to the flanges and joggle features to allow for the material deformation. NX uses a standard algorithm to compute this. However, if your standard process differs, an adjustment of plus or minus 5 degrees is possible on a per end basis as shown here. For juggle compensation, threshold limits can be applied to control when the compensation is ignored.